So ICANN stands for Institute of Chartered Accountants of Namibia. We are a not-for-profit organization and we are governed by constitution and bylaws. So we're not a statutory body. We do not report to any ministry. Um, we are a member-based body. Because we're talking accountancy, guys. Huh? The numbers we must do the things that must be done and we're going to be talking to fanny from the institute of chartered accountants of namibia which is a non-profit membership organization and it's just an institute that promotes the interest of members and the accounting profession as a whole and membership of ICANN is a requirement to be able to use the designation ca of namibia you can't just be throwing it around just in general mm, have to be given permission so we are joined by ICANN ceo uh fanny Gik Valley, and she'll share some developments of uh, what's going on at ICANN, how you can be a member and how they can help you. Fanny, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Sibo. It's good to be back. Yes, please. So we're talking of ever saying, ah, I'm just going to give you a what? A nice little office. You did demand your own personal <laughs> assistant. Maggie and I demanded a, co a coat from you. That was me. I want your coat because the jacket looks amazing. Maggie wants the shoes. So it's fine. It's a, it's a good deal. We give you an office. You give us what we need. Bada bing, bada boom. Everybody's happy. <laughs> Thank you, Sibo. In return for that, just give me a salary as well. Why? Yes. Oh, there's also that one. Ay, ta, 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 ta. <laughs> good to be here. Let's talk about the Institute of Chartered Accountants. Uh, can you provide an, an overview, really an in-depth one, of what the role is in promoting the, the accounting profession? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Ibo. I, I think you've highlighted it so well already. You've already provided such a good summary um, of who we are. But um, let me just maybe uh, go into the details. So ICANN stands for Institute of Chartered Accountants of Namibia. We are a not-for-profit organization, and we are governed by constitution and bylaws. So we're not a statutory body. We do not report to any ministry. Um, we are a member-based body. Um, we we uh, re if, you're, if you're registered with ICANN, you can use the designation Chartered Accountant in Namibia, mm -hmm. uh, which we also call CA NAM. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is a specific requirement. So you cannot use that designation if you're not registered with us mm -hmm. as a professional body. And uh, our main mandate is to promote the interests of our members. Um, and not only our members, but also the accounting profession. So we speak for the accounting profession. Uh, we aim to speak with one voice uh, for the accounting profession and train our accounting profession to ensure that it's consistently of good quality, ethical, um, full of integrity, and of course that our members are able to service society adequately. So here I am, I'm listening in and I was like, I wanted the designation CA NAM. How do I then become a member? Definitely not overnight. Okay. I can assure you. <laughs> uh, it is quite a journey, but it's, it's a very, very rewarding journey. So um, really just to keep it very short and sweet, we call it the three E's. Mm -hmm. Starting with education. So you need to have, of course, grade 12. Um, and then you need to proceed to university. You need to get a postgraduate degree at university level. So that's the first E, the education part. Then we've got the examinations part. We need, to, after you, you have your postgraduate degree, you need to write two exams. One is called the initial test of competence, in short ITC. The other is called the assessment of professional competence, in short APC. And these are written within 20 months of, of experience, of, of practical experience. So I've now covered the second E, which is examinations. The last, last E is the experience. You need to have about three to five years practical experience okay. at a registered training office. Can, 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 the, can, can I can help me? Maybe I'll only have the first two E's, but I just need that professional, um, you know, final leg of the game. What are some of the things that I, th that I can, can help me with in terms of my professional development and even my growth? Yes. So uh, to become a CNM, you need to have all threes. Okay. So there is no compromise. It's you true. can't just have the one and, the and maybe okay. skip to the third. Yeah. It is a very structured process okay. that has step one, step two, step, step three, three, step four, step five, mm -hmm. and you must have completed all of them. However, during the process, we also have a professional programs that assist to make sure that you are able to, 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 to get through the journey. Um, and then we also provide certain trainings, like, you know, we give like a course on taxation, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we intervene with soft skills on okay. examination techniques and etc. Mm -hmm. So we do also intervene during these stages. I know you, you mentioned that you have 
you know the ease but i also know that you you operate with this seven pillar strategy can you please tell us a little bit about your seven pillars and the importance of them in your organization yes um so the seven pillars and um they're quite lengthy and yeah. i don't want to take up a lot of time to go into the details but these are the seven pillars that are, are, are part of our current strategy okay which is 2020 to 2024 um what they really entail one is to grow our membership base because we would like to grow as an institute for the nation, for the benefit of the nation. We want to raise the profile of our institute and our brand. So that is more of a marketing strategy. Then, uh, because our, we are a membership body, we want to service and support our members at all times. Then we'd also like to develop the nation. So that is through stakeholder engagements, national development. So that is the fourth, the fourth objective. And the fifth one is to maintain and protect our brand, mm -hmm. the quality of our brand. Because it is a premium brand, it's important that we consistently work on that. Our sixth objective is building a pipeline. So this is where we're looking at growing the profession from a learner perspective, all the way, starting with grade eight, nine, all the way to uh, becoming a student at university, then moving on to wow. a trainee at a firm, then all the way to membership. We call that the pipeline. Last but not least is to ensure that our students pass the exams. Yeah. So we want to have interventions to make sure that they pass our exams. So Those are the seven objectives. So I love it. Like even before, you, it's like you're getting them ready to be ICANN yes. members, yes. which is so exceptional. So as an individual or as an organization in Namibia, how am I benefiting from just engaging with ICANN and, and your members? <clears throat> yes. So so we are really, we consider ourselves to be a premium institute. Yes. Meaning that we want to offer the best service to our stakeholders. And we've got a large variety of stakeholders, meaning the government, you know, the public sector, um, our firms, our members, um, international and regional bodies. And the benefit that you'll get out of it is that we really want to offer quality and expertise advice and guidance mm -hmm. so if you have any m any uh, matters relating to the accounting profession be it a policy a national policy that needs to be reviewed for example a tax policy be it on governance mm -hmm. be it on the actual financial foundation of accounting you know um, we are there mm -hmm. to assist so accounting is our core and because of that we want to spread um, knowledge sharing and advocacy, thought leadership, um, training to the rest of the nation. That, are, that is the benefit that you'll get from our institute. And I also really want to touch on that, the thought leadership part. And speaking of leadership, I mean, you are at the, at the helm and heavy is the head sometimes, um, <laughs> you being the CEO. But what are some key highlights um, that you have achieved being this CEO of ICANN over the past um, tenure that you've had? Okay, so um, that's that's an interesting one. <laughs> so my tenure has been short so far. Yeah. Um, but what I can share is we we um, we started off with a bang. So we we started Beautiful. off by by entering into a strategic partnership with CIMA, which is an mm -hmm. international professional body, the, the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants. Mm -hmm. So we've got a strategic partnership with them, mm -hmm. which is in the form of a membership pathway agreement. Then, last night, in fact, Ooh, uh, we breaking actually... News. That is breaking <laughs> news. And I think you're fortunate to be the first yes, one... Yes, please. Um, to, ...to know about it, 99FM, fortunately for you. We actually had the official accreditation ceremony for the Bachelor of Accounting. Oh, wow. Uh, Chartered Accountancy Stream at UNA, meaning that our Bachelor of Accounting, yeah. specifically for the CA, um, CA um, degree, mm. is now officially accredited mm. by the National Council for Higher Education. Now. And Come I can, now. oh yes, Come on now. that is something to a celebrate. Significant milestone yeah. for the child of Namibia, mm. for the students, for future accountants. They do not need to go all the way to South Africa anymore. To get. They don't need to spend so much money. Oh. To, to get their qualification Sorry, elsewhere. Please. We have it now homegrown locally quality Doing in Namibia. Beautiful. Yes. And what do yes. you hope to, to still to still accomplish? Uh, what can we look forward to? Any upcoming events uh, for our listeners and, and for our chartered accountants to be wary of? Oh, there's, there's, there's so much and I'm so excited. Ooh. We're actually in the process of, of uh, re-looking at our strategy mm -hmm. to, to accommodate the current trends and the current reality and the circumstances. I mean, a lot has changed since the last strategy, um, COVID included, and that has brought significant changes in the accounting environment. So looking forward is how do we change or refresh the strategy mm. and, and, and bring into 
into effect mm. items we probably never thought of. Sure. And that includes a lot of global mobility, mm. global partnerships, um, etc. I'm truly looking forward to that. But then also mm. lots of advocacy, lots of involvement in the public sector. Mm for the benefit of the private sector as well. And for those that would like to reach out, uh, how can you, what, what is the website or uh, office line, uh, how can we get in touch with, with ICANN? So we've got our main media platforms, um, which is Facebook, LinkedIn, and a little bit of Instagram. Beautiful. Not very active on Instagram. We don't have TikTok as <laughs> yet. I, I mean, I, um, I, don't think we, I don't think we all need TikTok. I think we're okay. Yes. But we've got a head office. Uh, we've got a, a head office number. You can e easily Google us. You'll get the number on Google. Mm. And um, yes, via email, the Beautiful. traditional way. Let's you can do reach it. Out. The professional way, even. Which has an accountant, yes. Bella. We do things the real and professional way. Our website is www.ican.com.na. Indeed. Well, Philip, before I let you go, is there anything else that you would like to add? Well, it's always good to be here, and I look forward to so many more sessions. Um, I really just want to encourage everybody, anybody mm -hmm. that has a child, that has a daughter, a friend, an aunt, a sister, anybody who would like to pursue the accounting profession, reach out to us. We are there to make it happen, and the journey is long, but with the right interventions, with the right support, you will make it. Thank you so much for coming, Fanny. Thank now you're you making me want to change me. my problem. I'm, I'm thinking of changing my profession now with all of this greatness that's happening at ICANN. So <laughs> you might just see me say, hey, <laughs> I want to be a member as well. Yes. We were joined in studio by ICANN CEO. That was the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Namibia, which is a nonprofit membership organization. Um, currently, they have 800 active members, and you can be 801, 802, 803, because we really need to grow the space, because at their core they are a member organization driven by intellectual and relationship capital and they are guided by their vision which is to be and be seen to be the leading namibian professional accounting body by reputation by expertise and by capacity i